All right, submitting a trouble ticket. How can we help you? Uh, tech support request, tutor request, or student data request. So let's go to tech support. It asks for your first name. Give them a detailed description as much as you can right here. And in priority, you can say, this is urgent. I don't have my software. You don't want to have a hiccup getting your software and we're already moving through the software. That would stress me out. Um, so you have to check this to say that you've checked your, you know, the ANECAD website to try and find out what's going on. And uh, you're just going to add these two numbers. You can also attach files like a screenshot to show what's going on when you're when you're not able to download or you have a broken link. You can take use that snippet tool and take that screenshot and attach that and that will create a trouble ticket. And these go into IT and they will be contacting you and helping you resolve those issues. So this is how you're going to use our a &E CAD help desk instead of going to the ACC help desk. They know nothing about our softwares, you guys. You want to go straight to our CAD guys. So I'm going to go back over here again. So that was under support. Um, and then let me see. We've got tutoring and stuff, but I'm going to show you this. This is one of the important things that nobody shows anyone. We actually have a job board where people come uh, companies come and they're looking for our students. And usually when they hire one student, they come back for more. So if I go right here, these are the open jobs right now. All right. So we're going to, um, what you need to do, and this is what I did. I subscribe to this job board so that anytime there's a new job posted, I get an alert to any email it could be your personal email, whatever ACC email, but sometimes it gets really clustered with a bunch of stuff from ACC. You may want this to go to your personal Gmail account or whatnot. So right here in category, you could select a specific discipline, but I like to see all of them. So that's multidisciplinary. And then in city and country, I can say Austin, USA and right here I can put in my personal Gmail account if I want that to go there and you want to subscribe to that so it doesn't look like a lot of jobs are here but during COVID this pretty much stopped it was everybody was in a hiring freeze nobody knew what to do so things are picking back up but this is really cool right here you can go to all the companies that have listed jobs with us in the past. So if you know of a company that you kind of like what they do, you can go and see if they've if they've hired from our department before. Um, LinkedIn, we'll talk about that later. That's a huge way to see where our past graduates are working now. That gives you a foot in the door too. So if they've come to us with a job, that means that they like what they see in you guys and uh, they're looking for students. A lot of times with mechanical, they'll come straight to me or Doug Smith. We'll send them over here like in-flight um, uses, um, uses Inventor and they just contacted me and I will be a reference for you guys in the future. If you're looking for a job in your resumes, you'll in portfolio class is the very last class and you'll create a resume, a list of references, a cover letter and a portfolio of all your work. That way you can go out. It doesn't matter if it's a certificate or an associates. You will have that portfolio to go out and show them what you what you're capable of. And you'll need some references and and you haven't worked in the field, maybe. So we'll be your references. That's why school is so important coming to class. All right. So I wanted to show you guys that. We're going to go right back here to Blackboard, and I might have killed that. So I'm going to pull that up again. All right, and let's get back to your class. Okay, so that was kind of what we were talking about in, I think this is the correct one. Nope. Yeah.
Okay. There are a lot of things have been added. All right, so CAD programs will not run on Chromebook. You will have to use Parallels. Notice that they don't even have Boot Camp. You have to get, um, well, here's Boot Camp, but Parallels. If you have an older system, Boot Camp may work, but as we've heard, another student has tried that, and they're not allowing Boot Camp anymore. So you're going to have to get Parallels if you want to do that or get yourself a laptop that runs on Windows because all these softwares run on Windows. Um, software requirement, let me just pull this down here a little bit. A free student version of the CAD program your course uses. Um, and you can click right here for more information that gets you to our CAD uh, software download site that we were looking at. If you have dual monitors, it's really helpful. Um, but if your computer just will not run these softwares, you can actually go over here and request a loaner laptop. And you have to click here and request it. And it's first come, first serve, you guys. So they'll let you, they'll loan you out a laptop with the software already installed on it. You have to turn it in at the end of the semester. They'll clean it up, install new softwares, and then you can check it out again in the next semester if you need one okay so if uh i don't i don't know if they're all checked out but you definitely want to go and do that as soon as possible if you need a laptop to run autocad all right um let's go on back here here's the textbook here's the link to the syllabus and we're going to go through that so the, your first assignment is to submit the orientation agreement through Blackboard. So we need to go to our syllabus. And let's see where that is. Right up here, when it says start here, we have some things that we're going to talk about. Class evaluation, we'll talk about that later. Considerations, if you have a complaint or you have a concern, you always want to go to us. And I want to show you this real quick because this gives you the emails to your different coordinators. So you always want to speak to the professor about it, go up to the coordinator if that doesn't work. Um, just filing a complaint straight to ACC is like going to trial. That's a big deal. So we want to try and remedy that situation down low. Um, so that's consideration. Here's my instructor information, my email. You can click on this. And it gets you to a directory, which gets you this stuff in my manager, which is our department chair, shows you my office, what department, and that's my phone number, although it's redirected to my cell phone. So email is best. The other thing here is this just gets you to our CAD site and it gets you a little bit more information. All right, so start here. You don't click on that. Welcome to 1405. We're going to start here. We're going to get through this syllabus. So I'm going to go through this. We have four minutes. So here's a, a class planner that kind of shows you a little bit day to day what we're going to be doing. And if I go back here, this is the syllabus with the office hours. All right. So notice the office hours here for your class on Monday, Wednesday. This is Wednesday. It's 125 to 155 p.m. So it's 30 minutes before class. And these are for each class that I teach. So you could always pop in another one. I just need to give you that Google Meet address. All right. So we're going to go from 155 to 315 with lecture. You can either stay in this meeting for 30 minutes beyond and work on it, ask any questions, just like open lab, very easy. Or you can go off and do it when you have time to do it. Um, let's see, this is 100% online. The last day of class is May 11th, that's our class period. There are no prerequisites for this class. Now we're gonna learn the principles of sketching and CAD. 
So we're gonna learn a little bit about sketching. Describe and demonstrate the process of visualization. You have to visualize something to be able to sketch it, making all kinds of views of that and any kind of notes and notations so that that can be produced because that's really what technical drawings are for. So this is an introdu introduction to interpreting and developing those technical drawings. So you need to know how to read it also to be able to create it. Um, it is the very first course. It's our gateway course to all disciplines. That's why it's combined with multiple disciplines. This talks about our book. And this is the link to the bookstore, which is now, I think, out of the books. But you might check them daily because I'm sure they're on top of that. And I'll send you, if I get an email that th those are available now, then I'll send you an, an announcement that they're available. Um, you're, you need to have the appropriate technology, and that means the software. You need to use Parallels, which can run Windows and Mic OS or Boot Camp. Uh, internet access, I don't have 20 megabytes per second. So I think I have 10, and it still works just fine. So you can click here to check your internet speed. That's a good, it's kind of a, a neat thing to run every once in a while when my internet drops down for some reason. Um, then I can, I can contact my internet service. The hardware requirements, we need upper uh, Windows 10 is what this operates on. So if you get um, Parallels, you're going to have to get Windows 10 on there. And so you can go to the Windows student version. You can get that pretty cheap and run that. So if you need help with that, let me know, okay? I've had to do that myself on my own system. Uh, recommended accessories. If you have dual monitors, it's great. If you have a web, webcam and my, microphone, that's awesome too. I bought a little, um, I think it's called a live cam, Microsoft live cam. It's pretty nice. Um, if you don't have access to these technologies, click here. This is that technology request for a laptop. Laptops have a camera and, and a microphone. No, just a camera um, in the laptop. So, you, you know, if you needed a microphone, you might get something else because I had to do the same. Uh, we'll be using Blackboard for everything, um, but you will need your book to go step by step through a lot of things because the first four chapters are given to you. The rest of it is not given to you. You need to get that book so that you can go through uh, starting at chapter five, but you'll be able to get started without a book right now. This tells kind of uh, how many hours it takes for each of these. And if you see anything from five to 7.5 hours, that might take two or three days for an assignment. So we will be taking multiple days on assignments. The outcomes are very important because this is how we judge how we're doing with our classes because we assess the classes um, one each semester. Um, we're going to create technical drawings and sketches. Um, we're going to prepare freehand multi-view sketches. That means on a grid piece of paper. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just getting the hang of it prepare technical drawings using traditional drafting tools. We will not be doing that. However, chapter three is over that, and there are lots of videos on hand drawing, and a lot of people still do that. There are some mom and pop ar architectural companies that are still doing that. Then we're going to get into technical drawings using AutoCAD. We're going to learn to set it up. I think it's so important to understand how the software works or what how it needs the information. If you don't know how to set up software, it's really hard to know how to interface with it. So I'm going to show you a lot of that. We're going to create some styles for notations to different standards. There's an architectural standard, civil standard, mechanical standards. And that's so that everybody interprets it the same way. Because you can go to that standard and see what that uh, notation means. So that's why we try and follow that standard. Um, we're going to put in more size notations for architectural drawings, create some 3D looking drawings, which are isometric. They're kind of at an angle, um, but they're not true 3D 
Uh, we're going to draw those in 2D in an isometric format, which is really cool. Um, then we're going to make some section views. Then we're going to make blocks. Blocks are like groups of graphics that you can insert over and over. Like if you're doing floor plans all day long, you don't want to draw those same doors over and over. You want to insert an already created block of graphics. And so this saves those and you can use them on multiple drawings as well. Then we're going to get into 3D and we're going to use that in mechanical parts and put those together in an assembly. Um, you, and then we're going to have multiple sheet working drawings for an assembly and we're going to have multiple sheet drawings for an architecture. So um, mechanical and an architectural final that has multiple sheets and details. And then in that architectural final, you will have a civil plat. So for the first time, you're going to get to learn about civil drawing. So we can literally take the floor plan of a house and go and set it on a civil plat. I've used that civil exercise to turn in drawings for permitting at the, um, at the city of Elgin and just from the 1405 class. So it works. I mean, it's, it's a real deal. Um, grading and attendance, this is an, a big deal. Attendance is not required, but it's, man, it's so important. 70% is daily work assignments. So daily work leading up to the final projects is all going to be averaged to 70%. The last two projects are 15% each of your entire semester. And here's the way it goes. You're going to do an assignment and you're going to get to see a finished product and check your work to that before you turn it in for a grade. It's called a check print. So that'll be way easier. And you're going to have check prints even for your final assignment so that you can verify your work before you turn it in for a grade. After you see that check print, and if you don't reach out to me, if you have questions, that grade stands. When you turn it in for your final grade, that grade stands. Even you can't go back and uh, incorporate, you know, the markups and get a better grade. It just stands because we give you a check print to look at that's perfect. So you want to make it as close to that as possible. There are some exceptions, so you can always get in touch with me and say, could I use this here? Absolutely, if it's not against the standard. So we're going to learn about our flexibility in that. You cannot pass this class with a D or an F. You have to have a C or better. So if you make a D in this class, you can go back and retake this. And if you make a C, it will replace that D in your, final, in your GPA. Just like I took a trig class and made a C, I went back and made a B or an A, and that replaced it in my GPA. So that worked out good. Um, withdrawals and incompletes. All right. If you withdraw from a class, please let me know. Because And I've done that. I've had to drop classes because I had a student that was killed in an accident during the semester, and we just didn't know what happened. And as you start taking classes, you'll start taking classes with the same people in, in your upper discipline you'll start to get kind of close. And so it's important to, to let your instructor know when you drop a class. It's just good to say that, hey, I dropped your class, sorry. Um, incompletes are, if you can't complete it by the end of the semester, some, you know, if you got COVID and you were out for two months out of the four, out of the four then, you know, there could be some, you could have a chance to go ahead and go through and finish that. However, I've gotten burned so many times and it takes so much work to get that incomplete started that sometimes it's hard to do that. Academic integrity, don't cheat. Don't email someone your drawing and let them use it. You're essentially, you know, you're kind of cheating that person out of a learning experience. And it's real easy for us to tell when people do that. A lot of people try that in 1405, but they don't try it again. Um, and we, that goes through a big rigorous situation to either say, yes, they cheated or no, they didn't. If it got, goes up the line. Um, usually we just try and contain it and, and remedy that situation in person, give an incomplete, give them another assignment, but you have a certain day and it's harder. Attendance participation, just make sure that you, you watch the videos for class. If you can't make the class, make sure you watch the videos and then go through the assignment, okay? 
That's the most important thing. And here we go through withdrawals and incompletes again. We have our own tutors that are paid. They're, they're upper level students that are paid to sit online and wait for you to go and ask for help. And all of them have taken 1405. So they're very familiar with these projects. Um, there are mechanical, electrical, civil, and architectural tutors. However, you know, any of them can help you with 1405. So don't worry. They're in at different times. You could go to any of them and they could help you with 1405. Does not matter what their discipline, okay? Um, so I'll show you where that is. These uh, class one through 20. Six is that 70% daily work. And then your capstone projects come in in class 27 through 31. And they take about a week and a half for each um, for each capstone. So we'll be we'll be using everything that we learned and some new things in the capstones or in the final projects. ACC policies on withdrawal, incomplete, and that kind of whole uh, path to getting through that system. If you guys want to read up about that, um, ACC statement on on cheating or academic integrity is here. Student rights and responsibilities. You have freedom of speech, um, all this stuff. But let's just be kind to each other. Uh, we're all. I'm a mutt from multiple countries. Um, first time student to college. You know. But, you know, we're all, we all come from somewhere and this is our first step to getting to the next uh, phase of life. Uh, Title IX is sexual harassment, sexual assault, dating violence, and stalking. And we have had some stuff go on and we try and contain that right here in our department. So come to me if you have any problems like that. And if we need to elevate it, if we can't remedy it, we'll move it up the line. Student complaints, we just talked about that. There is a form to do that. You don't want to go, this is not the kind of, this goes straight to the, um, straight up to the highest administration level. If someone's not turning their, their drawings in uh, back to you in time or something like that, that's not something to complain all the way to administration about. That's to start working up through our department so that we can remedy that. Um, let me see. Privacy, um, the FERPA Act. Um, I cannot contact any of you guys um, in any way or if you were younger, maybe your parent and discuss your your grades. Um, I can't discuss that with anybody. That's private. Recording policy. Don't record the screen. If anyone else pops their their face on here, that's that's against the uh Privacy Act as well. Statement, safety statements. Um, let's see if there's anything that you feel is unsafe, you can actually click out here or come to me about. Um, let me see, campus carry. We're not really worried about that, but if you wanna learn about um, concealed carry, um, you cannot leave that weapon anywhere. It has to be on you at all times. It cannot be visible. So you can go right here and read about that. Discrimination. We're not going to do that. You know, I'm a mutt. I'm a woman. I'm first time college person. You could discriminate against me all day long, but you know, we all come from somewhere. So let's leave that out. Use of ACC email. If you email me from a personal email, I'm going to send you an email back that says, hey, can you email me from your ACC email account? That is an ACC policy. So I cannot converse with you uh, outside of our ACC stuff. We won't be using the testing center. There's lots of student support. Um, you can go right here and it tells you all the things that it can do to help you as a student to make you more successful. And we're going to talk about those. Um, here's co coronavirus uh, support for students. And we're going to talk more about that. So if you have any kind of um, ability that stops you from succeeding in this class, it's good to go here and actually file it. They'll give you a letter to give to your 
to your professors. If you have something that you need to send to me, you can take a picture of it, send it via email. It helps me help you. I'm ADD, if you can't tell, and I'm dyslexic. So numbers are hard for me, but I work in a numbers field. So there are different ways that I have to do things. And if you have something that goes on like that with you, I would like to help you with that. So it's good to it's good to let me know, and you can let me know through this office. Um, let me see. Academic support. There's an online tutor, but this is the ACC tutor. We use our own tutors. Uh, library services, we really won't need that much of. Student organizations. Here's the um, Student Life is a social organization within ACC. But let's talk about personal support. If you need food resources, we have our own food bank. We used to have free food on campus. You just go and get what you need. Uh, assistance with child care. I've never seen this before. I mean, when I went to school, you had to buck up and do it. But now we have child care support. The student emergency fund, if your house gets burned down and you literally are destitute, uh, we all contribute to a student emergency fund and that, that money is given to you to help you get back on your feet. This is not a loan. All right, um, help with budgeting. Um, I had, I've had friends that were students and they, they thought that this was a really good program because they had a family, they had school, and they had work, and it was hard to manage all that and budget all that. So that helps you with that. Full listing for students uh, par uh, who are parents. All your child care needs or whatever you can get to help you is right here. And then the CARES Act will help eligible students pay for ex expenses around COVID right here. Student aid. So mental health, this is the first time I've ever seen this. Counselors used to be what we call advisors now. Counselors now are licensed um, mental health counselors. So if you have anything going on in your life, it doesn't matter if it has to do with school, you can go and get free counseling from ACC and that's that's huge. You don't even have to use your insurance, it's free. Um, so here are a bunch of hotlines if you're struggling with anything and our attendance participation down here follows ACC. So you know that if you turn in something late, you may get points deducted off and we'll talk about that when we get to that point. Um, if we say, hey, your, your work is so exemplary, could we use it for a poster in our department? We will ask your permission and give you credit for that. Um, don't worry about cell phones and electronic devices right now. And that is our syllabus. With that being said, there's one thing that I want you guys to do. And that is this. I want you to watch this orientation video that was pre-created for you, the syllabus overview, degrees and certificates, policies and homework assignments, and take this orientation agreement. This essentially is saying, and this will be going on to your grades. This is like a test. You see that little thing? So let me open it and show it to you. I'm gonna continue right here. I certify that I've received and agreed to the policies defined in the syllabus. Yes, true or false. I understand that this section is 50% online. That means I'm going to give you lecture. And then the lab is up to you guys to complete the, the physical work, you know, your own homework. Um, if I'm able to un not attend a meeting, I know that I'm required to watch the recording for each missed class or instructional activity. That's a big deal. If you don't do that, you'll just be lost. I understand that the principal way for the instructor is ACC email, and you want to use your ACC email uh, address. Um, the principal way this course works is through Blackboard. I understand that the principal way I'll submit is through Blackboard. I understand that I must submit my projects on or before the deadline, or you could impose late point penalties. I certify that I have been informed of or can meet or exceed the technology requirements. If you don't have access to the technology, click here. There's that link again to request 
a laptop or whatever can help you, okay? So click there and also answer this true or false and you're gonna save and submit. Don't skip one of these because your points will be lower and this does go onto your grades, okay? So save and submit and that will go into your grades. So that's what I wanted to get to today. You might want to review your technology requirements. So it talks about the different softwares. The other thing that you're gonna see over here is the download links. This is a big one right here. So if your links are broken, you may be able to find a good link right here, download links, AutoCAD 2022. Remember to hit this verification. Click here for a home folder management guide. All right, this is real important. This is something that links Google Drive file stream creates this. Let me show you my drive. Do you see that G drive right there? That's my Google Drive. And I don't have to upload and download from my Google Drive. It's continuous, continuously streaming and putting those files and updating those files on my Google Drive. That is our backup, you guys. Don't work completely on your computer. If your computer crashes, I'm sorry. You're going to have to redo that stuff. And you want this work because when you get to portfolio, you want to retrieve all that work. And your Google Drive is unlimited. You can have multiple ones. And if I go right here, you see that I have multiple classes. I have a 1405, two 1433s, and a 2402. Right now, you might be just taking 1405, but you may want to make a folder for it because in the future, you'll have folders for all your classes. You can see that I put ones in front of these. These are from past semesters. These are all this semester, but you won't have to do that because you won't be taking that class twice. So you could call it just 1405 or DFTG 1405. You can put the spring of 22 because what that helps you do is to remember when you took that class. A lot of times you're like, oh, you know, I took it so long ago, I could only take one class a semester. This helps you remember. So when you come to me and say, hey, do you have so-and-so from this semester? I took it this semester in this year. I can go and get that for you. All right, so it's really important. This right here is really important. Probably the most important thing because you're going to start collecting all your files right here. So you want to go into this, click on this video for how to set up. Uh-oh, I'm sorry. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Um, you want to set up your Google Drive file stream, and that is a software that you download from your Google Drive, install, and you may have to restart your system but, but you have to be logged into your Google Drive for that to show up. If you're not logged into anything and you just try and go to, you know, your file, this little yellow folder down here, and you don't see the G Drive, you're not logged into your ACC account. You have to be logged into that, and then things will sync. All right. And I'm trying to get through this really quickly. Install Microsoft Windows free educational version right here for you guys that are on a Mac. You're going to need Windows 10. Here's your free. Can you guys hear? Okay, go back and watch the video. Because your, inter your internet may be breaking up or something. So here's your Windows free educational version. If you need to update your Windows system, you can do it right here. Click here to download Acrobat Reader. This is for PDFs. Click here for Boot Camp, which is free if you have an earlier version of a Mac. Click here for Windows um, Parallels, and that's $39.99. Still cheap for software to be able to run this in parallel. And click here if you want the Creative Cloud from Adobe for $10, it's not required, but you do need uh, something to be able to open PDFs, and that's right here. So these are all of our downloads. Yes, Kalechi, how do you say that? Yeah, you said it right, like, Okay, Kalechi. Thank you. Um, where is this, 
Where is this tab? Yeah, which tab this is, is this is right here under student resources. And it is, where is it? Where did I see it? It's all gone. I just went to it. It's download links. It's above, way above you. Oh, sorry. Oh. Download links right here under start here. Okay, thank you. When I assign a due date, it will show up on this due dates calendar. And you guys, I have a video that shows you how to link this so that your due dates will go on to your ACC calendar with all your classes if you want to, instead of just being in Blackboard. So if you want to, um, I'm going to write that down and I'm going to put that in this Blackboard. So that you know how to do that if you want to do that. Because it's nice to have your due dates for um, assignments show up on your Google Calendar for your classes. Let's see what else. Uh, and then a &E cat Advising, these are your advisors. So courses you can take after this, the fall 2021 course schedule. And then here are the classes that you can take for these different disciplines. And some of these can be taken for any discipline, like intermediate CAD is just intermediate AutoCAD, um, IC layout, all these different classes. But if you're looking at um, architecture, you may want to take residential. If you're looking at mechanical, you might want to take 1433. Now, in that foundation certificate, there's 1433, 24... Where is it? Twenty four thirty one is not listed here, which is Revit, and then fourteen thirty is Civil. All right. So I need to talk about twenty four thirty one being added to that because you can take that right after fourteen oh five, and that's three D buildings or architecture. Uh, let me see. And so I'm going to send you an announcement that gets you a link to this orientation video and agreement. That's the only real homework you have besides going to the download links and starting to get your verification letter started, um, getting your Autodesk um, account set up, because until you start to download something, you can still have an account. doesn't hurt that. You can get your account set up, get your verification letter started for your downloads, um, get your boot camp parallels, your Windows 10, get all that stuff set up, Adobe Reader, so that you can open PDFs, because the first four chapters are in PDFs, and you need to be able to open those, okay? All right, I'm going to send you an announcement that's going to have a link. Um, I want to show you this. Let me show you this right here. So student resources, this is our meeting, but right here is where I'm going to put links to the playlist for every class. It's going to be dated. It's going to say what we do. And in that playlist, it's going to be um, descriptions of each one of the videos and they will have video one, two, three, four, five. So that they're in order. Okay. So that's what I work on when the class shuts down. I go and compile those videos and I will send you an announcement for your homework for next time, all the links that you need. Um, I might put links in for the download links, you know, so that you could just get there from the email, that kind of thing. Okay. But most of the stuff is going to come right from Blackboard. Does anyone have any other questions, comments? Okay, if no one has any questions or comments, thank you so much for your attention today. I know we went over a little bit, but I really appreciate you guys, and um, we're going to have a great semester. All right, thanks, guys, and have a great day, and I will see you on Monday. Thanks, you, you too. Thank you. Uh, yes. Um, can you hear me? I'm breaking up so much. On, on I can. This. 
okay because like um whenever you talk you you break up so much and then i can't really hear what i can't really hear what you're saying okay so, so go to uh, watch, not, watch the never... video watch the okay. video okay um, um so i i really misheard what you said about to download the uh would to click the download links yeah. uh, yes so, so where is this huh? right here that question? yeah okay so I'm going to give you, I'm going to send you homework in an email. And it's okay. going to have a link to the download links and what I want you to do and start working on before next class. Okay. All right. Because like, um, so like whenever you talk right now, it breaks, you, you break up so much. I don't know what could it be. It might be my internet or it might no be, so going. I'm going to chat. Yeah, it just bugs me so much. <laughs> you see the chat? Yeah. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. Yes. Carlos. So okay, I know I emailed you maybe like a week before class started about the whole um, Apple thing and whatever. So I yes. I downloaded uh Parallels, and it's strictly like it it gave me Windows 11. Is that gonna be? Oh. Or do I need Windows 10? I think you need Windows 10. Okay, then that's probably why. Because I was able to, to download Parallels and everything and, and download AutoCAD, but it just wouldn't install. Dang it. Um, so like, I, I keep like overcoming, but this is like the, the last obstacle I have. It's, it downloads to my computer perfectly fine, but when it's installing, it just says it's extracting extracting everything, and then it just stops. So I'm wondering if you can go back and get the parallels for Windows 10. I uh, well, I used it off the link that that you provided. So, but it's just I guess because it just I don't know if it just updated or something. It, it like automatically gave me Windows 11. But it automatically I, did. Yeah, um, like it, it didn't give me an option for 10. But right now I'm downloading Windows 10 and I'm going to see if I can configure it over it to Windows 10 and maybe. Okay, that do that. And if you're having problems, get in touch with tech support and tell All them right. what's going on because we need to tell other people that too. Okay, got you. All right. But it, it, and you know how to get in touch with those guys? Uh, Yes, ma'am. I have it already pulled up. I was following you whenever you were showing us awesome. how to get there. Awesome. So right. I think there's a link over here for tech support as well. There, get tech support help now right there. So okay. if you ever need it, you know, so, uh, put in that trouble ticket, send them a picture if you can, because that helps a lot and tell them what system you're working on, what, um, what Mac that you have and that you downloaded Parallels and it's 11 and that's not what platform this runs on. Okay, well, I'll, I'll I'll see if I can switch it over to 10. If not, then I'll get with them. Thank okay, you, yeah, let me know what happens, okay? I will. I'll shoot you an email when everything's done or if I right. figure it out. So sorry. This is just like right. the, you know, once you get this set up, it'll be so much easier uh, here so on it. Just, just for I have, so I can have like a certain timeline. When are we going to start using AutoCAD so I know like how soon I need to get this done? A couple weeks. Okay, that's fine. Then I should have it done but yeah. possibly by the end of the week then. Yeah, you should be in good shape. All right. Well, thank you, ma'am. I'll see you. Thank you. Monday. Hello? Hey. Okay, so also I have a, another question too. Um, so the AutoCAD 22, um, I have it down. I already downloaded already, but it's uh -huh. taking so much so much time and um it says whenever i click resume again like it just literally just stays there like it won't move at all like i okay, don't know so if it or because i i installed it first and then i downloaded it again but um it's just not doing anything it's not moving okay <laughs> um you might also if you can see my uh let me present my screen again you might also yeah because that's what i yeah, because last night what I did, I I, um, I had civil 3D drafting class last night, and I, uh -huh. I installed it and then downloaded it, and it, it worked just fine. I was able to really? do the software, and yeah, I have no idea. 
If you go to um, check your software mm -hmm. speed. Okay. You might check your software, I mean, your internet speed, because at different times of the day, I have different speeds. And it just depends on what's going on. Like, I didn't have any internet before our class, and I was freaking out. And I contacted my internet provider, and they had to go and reset a tower. I was having to, I was going to go down and walk down to a neighbor's house. Um, but, you know, if you click on that, and I, I think it's called speedtest.net. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, it's, it's just so weird because I just I just bought this computer um, not so long, I mean, yesterday, and um, mm -hmm. everything was doing just fine. I mean, my, I, have a good, I have good internet and Wi-Fi, and I just, yeah. just, whenever I have it downloaded right now, it's just, it doesn't move. It just stays like in the middle of the so you might um, you might just go to speedtest.net and just hit go. Okay. And let it run and see if it's lower than it is at another time, because there's more traffic at certain times of the day. And you can see I've got almost 10 megabytes download right here, and that's so much faster than what I had before. And then it's going to run my upload speeds. So you want to look and see see what those are, and um, and then you may have to contact your internet provider. Have you tried uh, rebooting your router? Yeah, I think I'm because uh, I'm using my Wi-Fi, so it's I don't have the modem with connected to the back of the. Um... Yeah. I can't even do that. This this that laptop doesn't even have a port oh, okay. to do that. I don't know if you even have a port for your Ethernet. Do you? I'm looking at it right now. Uh to the uh that's time connected like that just through instead of wi-fi because i'm using my wi-fi here and it's yeah you might try that the other thing that the other thing that i did was i got i bought a little wi-fi blaster and it plugs into the wall and it extends my wi-fi range because i'm across i'm across the house from my router and that has helped yeah, you're breaking up. You've got a really low um, internet right now. Is it? It's just the ping 27 and then download 6.3. So what about downloads? Six point something? 6.39. Okay, and what about your upload? Uh, it is 1.98. It's still not too bad. Per second. Yeah. It's still not too bad, but you might really want to go and reboot your router, you know, unplug okay. it and let it mm. sit for like five minutes and then plug it back okay. in and reconnect and, and then run this again this, and right. see okay. if, if it just bumps your router. It may be the time of day. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, there's there's suggested 20 megabytes download. I can do it with 10 and get pretty good reception. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, because um, last night, like I said, uh, civil drafting, I installed it and I was able to just to you know mess around with the software and um, yeah, yeah, and uh, try it tonight. Um, so if, if I just install it, if I just install AutoCAD 2022. Would that uh would that work or the hat do I have to download it first and then well if you install it's going to install through your internet and it's gonna time out time out time out so downloading is the best way to go okay yeah uh, um and if you're if you're supposed to be guaranteed some kind of speed you might contact your internet provider or see if you're on a certain plan and why you're not getting that. Sometimes they cap out at certain times of the day and they don't let us have as much speed. Huh. Um, I found an internet provider that has no caps on media data. Okay. 
Yeah, so because like, yeah, because I, I can hear you just fine now, and then whenever you're talking, you break up. You, you break up so much, I can't really hear what you're saying. Although I'm kind I gotcha. of the, yeah, so I can having a hard time with that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do that. What you what you told me right.